cerebellum, the tomb. The cerebellum is synonymous with the Masonic sprig of acacia and the biblical place Jericho. In fact, many esoteric symbols correspond with the sacred cerebellum. Dr. Carey links the cerebellum with Taurus and Venus, Phosphorus. Venus rules the awakened man. Carey also proposes that the cerebellum is the tomb where Jesus was laid to rest. James Price refers to the cerebellum as the magnetic chemical center. Electrons are tiny magnets. The cerebellum is the intuitive brain, which controls the autonomic functions of the body, such as breathing, circulation, sleeping, digestion, and swallowing. All of the activity of the body, muscle tension, joint relaxation, hearing, vision, the relationship of every part of the body in time and space sends impulses to the cerebellum. The cerebellum is like an electrical loom Electrical impulses give the cerebellum a perfect representation of the body's position in time and space. When CSF is sufficiently charged and transmuted, the doors to this subconscious brain are flung open, allowing the conscious mind access to its power. The cerebellum clearly demonstrates the proper functioning of the intellect as it begins to move into Christ consciousness. As we become aware of the underlying activity that coordinates, balances and harmonizes every action in creation, the cerebellum begins to receive this picture. Then we have available to us the information that represents the total body of creation and we can become co-creators with the primary creator. The cerebellum is the part of the brain that receives messages from the nervous system. It tells us what we think or feel about certain things. Eckhart Tolle explains that in the absence of awareness, virtually all of your thoughts happen to you instead of for you, meaning that the autonomous system is running riot and keeping you imprisoned to discordant thought patterns. Thus, you are not considered a master of yourself. This concept is personified by Judas betraying Jesus. The other brain is the cerebellum, a negative organ or switchboard. Switching the magnetic aura from the autonomic system to the cerebral and spinal nerves, each brain has its nervous system. This quote highlights the dual aspects of the nervous system. In summary, when the seed is crucified, it remains 2.5 days in the cerebellum, which essentially switches, diffuses or resurrects its energy from autonomic involuntary power to the central aware intelligence and on the third day ascends to the pineal gland that connects the cerebellum with the optic thalamus, the central eye in the throne of God. The cerebellum admits the resurrected current through the cerebellar lingula into the fourth ventricle CSF reservoir where it is distributed to the CSF, the pituitary, and the pineal. 
Optic thalamus, the holy eye. The two oval masses connected by the massa intermedia were designated the optic thalami because they were found to be involved with the processing and projections of visual reality. The optic thalamus is also known as ophthalmos or optonomi, the eyes of the mind, thalamus opticus, the Latin form of couche optique, the holy eye, the eye of providence, the eye which sleepeth not, the eye which is the subsistence of all things. The optic thalamus, meaning light of the chamber, is the inner or third eye, situated in the centre of the head. It connects the pineal gland and the pituitary body. The optic nerve starts from this single eye. Massa intermedia, reality projector. The massa intermedia is the centre of the optic thalamus. Its surfaces form part of the lateral wall of the third CSF ventricle. Reality literally projects from the massa intermedia. At the massa intermedia is the center of the brain's torus field. This center point is a plane of inertia built by the brain's resonance. Our senses simply absorb and filter the frequencies that we project from the internal to the external back into consciousness and perceives them as reality. The frequencies vibrate the cerebrospinal fluid inside the third ventricle, giving rise to the shapes and forms of so-called physical life. The entire experience of life is generated in this way. So we do indeed write our own life stories. And the realization of this causes neurons to light up, creating new and powerful pathways of thought and possibility in the cerebrum or most high. Cerebrum, most high. The cerebrum is symbolized by the biblical character Abraham. The cerebrum is the upper brain, most high, North Pole, or Jehovah. Dr. Carey states that Aries, cerebrum, and Taurus, cerebellum, lay down the law on the other parts of the body. So the refined essences refresh the contents of the cerebrum and another cycle immediately begins at the claustrum, which continues to integrate the light. But we can't conclude the journey without knowing what climaxes occur in the pituitary and pineal.